Even though it's ugly outside, I'm in a very good mood. I'm very excited. Today is the day that I'll be getting my braces. Not no. Two and a half years later, and I'm getting my braces taken off today. My appointment is at one o'clock. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna take you along with me when I get my braces taken off. Okay, so I already got the top off, but we'll talk about all that later. If you're watching this video, please don't hesitate to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you are about to hop on your braces journey, do it. It's worth it. The time flies. Like it literally feels like this was just yesterday. And that's when you exactly. get towards the end of like what it would start. She just get an instrument, but you could start whatever you need to do. Okay. Okay, so here he's just using that appliance to pop off the brackets off of my teeth. Um, this was very painless, didn't hurt at all. Okay, so we'll start, like I'll do a couple teeth at a time, okay? Mm -hmm. Open my chin up, open real wide, good. So now he is using that drill bit to saw off the glue that was um, used to bond the brackets to my teeth. Not gonna lie, this was uncomfortable, but not unbearable. Oh my God. Now it's time for x-rays and pictures, yes. Welcome. I hope you enjoyed coming with me to get my braces taken off. So now we're gonna just chop it up and talk about some things. My braces journey, my diagnosis, pain levels, some difficulties that I had that I think you should watch out for, the appointments, and we're also gonna talk about the retainers. So go get you a snack, babe. We're gonna be chatting for a little while. So <laughs> if you haven't seen part one, I'll give you, or part two, I'll give you a little synopsis. So I decided to get braces in October of 2021. I was 24 years old and I went to my initial visit and I was told that I had overcrowding. So in my mouth, I had an exponent tooth, which was like the tooth up here and my two front teeth were kind of crooked. So I had to get, Four teeth extracted so I got the extractions and then came closing the spaces and straightening everything out and here we are two and a half years later um, it sounds like a lot like it doesn't feel like it was that long though right so let's talk pain so it is painful but it's 
one it's only after every time your braces get tightened which for me was about every six to eight weeks and why that what that pain is is your jaw the bone in your jaw breaking down so that your teeth can shift into the new desired place and i would say the pain is like a 6.5 out of 10 just because you know you want to eat and you know it's just it is annoying but it's not unbearable nothing some painkillers won't fix babes you'll be fine <laughs> once you first get your braces tightened it's very sensitive so you'd have to like i'd have to eat with like the back like all the way in the back like having a sandwich you're bugging like steak cut it up in little pieces like it's really not that bad your orthodontist will give you all the instructions just follow them you'll be fine the office visits so i would have to go in for adjustments every like six to eight weeks and then like four to six weeks towards the end the appointments were closer i guess because i was getting you know we're wrapping it up so it was getting closer to each other office visits were very quick and efficient over at galkin or orthodontics like the efficiency is crazy i'm in there and then i'm out of there it takes about 10 to 15 minutes you go in they take off the bands they ask you which color you want i would usually do pinks blues and lavender like that those are really what i stuck to in terms of colors yeah they get tightened and you're out of there it's oral hygiene i got an electric toothbrush because i just wanted to make sure that i was getting into like nicks and crannies like as you know you have like metal in your mouth so it is a little bit difficult to make sure that your teeth are as clean as can be but that's why one it's very important to still go to the dentist every year twice a year like you're supposed to um and get cleaning so i was on top of my cleanings i got my cleanings twice a year and that really helped with me making sure that everything was good what i will say though is flossing with braces is the most difficult thing i have ever tried to do right so they, they there's like a it's called an easy threader you put the floss in the threader then put the threader in your mouth in between the bracket and your tooth and then you pull it through and then it is just so difficult scratch that get a water pick just get a water pick you'll make your life so much easier um, i said i'm i just got out of class so i'm getting chick-fil-a and then i'm gonna be on the way okay say what's up to the vloggy vlog hey vlog <laughs> so why did i choose braces over invisalign it was the same price for trays and for break like for the invisalign and for braces so i decided that i'm just going to get the braces because i don't want to be responsible for making sure that you know switching everything out on time like life gets crazy sometimes like i will come into the office and make sure i have you guys handle what needs to be handled uh, i just felt like it was less stress and pressure on me and it was the same amount of money so why not i i honestly thought braces were cute like if you really think about it unless i'm smiling you're not really looking in my mouth and then i kind of i i got them during the pandemic where everybody was wearing like masks and stuff so it really didn't make a big difference and also like i was looking for pictures to put in this video and i'm i mean i smile but in a lot of my pictures like my my mouth is closed so it's like you really can't tell that i have braces unless you're up close and personal or if i'm smiling in pictures so if that's something that you're worried about you will be fine and finally i say the best for last well best depending on how you look at it retainers retainers are the most important part once you get your braces off because all of that hard work needs to be kept in line and i don't have them in right now because you can kind of hear like i'll show you so you can hear the difference right like you can hear that i have something <laughs> in my mouth and it's very important to make sure that you wear your retainers so that your teeth do not shift and move causing you to have to get braces again okay i'm gonna take these out now have you ever seen those people who are like, oh yeah, I had braces. And then you look in their mouth for the proof and you're like. You had braces? 
it's because they didn't wear their retainers. You went through all that hard work. Now it's time to wear the retainers. You have to wear them every night to prevent your teeth from shifting. And when I first got braces, I did not know that retainers were a thing. Like, I didn't know that I was going to be having to wear these for the rest of my life. But guess what? I've accepted it because there's no way around it you know it's like if you are going to the gym and you're working out and you start seeing results and you start you know getting some muscle definition if you stop working out you're going to lose that definition so it's the same thing with your teeth since i got my top row taken off a few months ago because everything was fully adjusted i only wear my top retainers at night since i just got the bottom taken off i have to wear them 24 7 for the next five weeks and then once i follow up with dr galkin in about a month now um he'll be able to switch me over to just nighttime retainers are expensive and my sister had braces and i have remember times where she accidentally like wrapped them up in a napkin because she didn't have this and she accidentally threw them out so i am making sure that i always have multiple of these i keep one in my car one in my purse um one in my gym bag because we are not playing them games okay it's they're clear they're so easy to lose and i have done that before where like i didn't have my case and i put it in a napkin and i'm like i am immediately putting this napkin somewhere that is not on this dinner table because if i put it on the dinner table it's going to end up in the trash easy that's exactly how people lose their retainers and they're not cheap um each row is 100 dollars. so yeah no not for some plastic thank you so much for watching this video and if you have seen part one and part two thank you for watching the finale my teeth are perfecto and good luck on your braces journey bye